All right, happy Good Friday, friends. What kind of content creator would I be if I didn't provide you with something on this holiday weekend? Um, I've got a PSA review. So this by far gets the most views of anything I do. And by most, I mean like 20, which is know, it's a lot. Anyways, so I got another one for you. Um, just I'm going to do one of these every other month and become the next Mr. Beast is kind of what I think this will be my living. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, 38 cards, I think. Again, I got to comment on the turnaround from PSA. These were received by PSA March 1st. Got them back yesterday. So just, you know, a little over a month door to door. Pretty impressive. Um, if you came here to see high-end cards, you are in the wrong place. These are low-end. I mean low-end. Um, I don't know what the fuck I was doing with this order. Um, you know, grading prices are pretty cheap. I think it's 19 a card. Um, there's some PC stuff in here that I just like. There's some stuff that I ripped and I'm just trying to grade my way out of it. And there's some flip stuff, but... You know, looking through this, it's like a hodgepodge of stuff. So, whatever. It's got baseball, soccer, some football. So, just, I don't know. Just watch it. And if you like it, that's cool. Nothing fancy drink. I'm just having a beer. All right. First, here we go. Um, so, Gabriel Martinelli, uh, rookie card, plays for Arsenal. Good young player. This is just the base. So, I bought a box of Prism, graded it. Um, gemmed, which is nice. You'd think, oh, you're gonna get for that, like 40, 50 bucks. Now it's like 30, so it's not even that great. Um, LeBron, um, 2006 paper card. So I bought this was a GMA 10 that I cracked. Um, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. I just kind of wanted to see if it would gem. It did not. Um, so that's you know, not worth much. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> Again, this is something from what I had ripped. Um, a box of Topps Chrome Champions League says so Noah Lang, uh, refractor. It gemmed. Young player. Um, I think he's going to transfer to a big club. Um, I'm hoping this summer, and then maybe this will be worth a little bit. It's not worth much right now. Um, again, more of kind of some stuff that I ripped. This is Logan Gilbert. So he's a pitcher for the Mariners. to Aqua to 199 auto. So nice little card. Gemmed. Um, I might be able to get like 100 bucks for that. So I'll take it. <clears throat> Uh, some soccer. So here's a uh, a mosaic, I can think. Uh, World Cup. So Moises Acedo, uh, rookie card, good young player for Brighton. Um, he's not a goal scorer, so I don't know if this is how much this is going to be worth. But it's a Genesis, so it's definitely a desirable, desirable parallel. Um, I was hoping for a big transfer this summer, and then maybe I can get something out of it. <clears throat> All right, so... This is a Dak Prescott. This is a 2017 green scope. So it's out of 99. Um, it is his second year. And really this is, I'm kind of trying to put together, a, <clears throat> a, I don't want to call it a rainbow, but just kind of a, a run of stuff. So I'm trying to put together all the Dak's, all of his prisms numbered to 99 and PSA 10. So this did not hit the mark. Fortunately, this card is not super easy to find all the time too. So I'm going to have to take another crack at it. Um, but anyways, and kind of along those lines, Here's the same. Uh, this is a 2020 prism. Um, blue ice, so the parallel change, but this is the 99 set gem, so that one will work for, for what I'm trying to do. Uh, there's another one. Tyler Adams, so one of my favorite U.S. players. It's kind of it's a cool uh, uh, finest. It's a throwback little print. It's numbered to, you know, be able to see. I got a new phone, and... I don't want to talk about it really, but I'm not super happy with my options that were available. But it's numbered to 35. It gemmed. I just thought it was cool. So happy. I'm keeping that. It's personal one. Um, yeah, I don't know. This was a shot. So Mikhailo Mudrik, who's going to transfer to Arsenal, ended up going to Chelsea. This was like one of his first rookies. I thought it was clean. Um, it was a nine. This is like, I don't know. There's not very much money. 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, all right, so here's kind of a similar thing I'm doing with the DAC prisms. I'm also putting together his mosaic numbered to 80s, right, in PSA 10. So I bought this. This is 2021. Whatever. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go, 72. Um, yeah, Fusion Real Choice, so gem. So that'll be good for getting what I'm working on. Um, here's some 
So this is part of, I ripped a box of this stuff too, Topps Chrome, Champions League, but Sapphire Edition. And so I was trying to grade my way out of it, but this guy actually is, he's a decent little player. Uh, Benjamin Sesco, goal scorer. I'm hoping for a transfer, and then this will be worth a little bit more, that gem. Um, Barry Bonds, just bought, you know, because I dig Barry Bonds. I was going to try to string together some some Barry PSA 10s. Um, you know, this is card's 22 years old now, so... Uh, I, I think I was hopeful. I don't remember exactly if I thought this was going to gym or not, but I took a shot. Um, along the lines of what I was talking about earlier with the Cisco, same, Nico Gonzalez, a midfielder for Bayern. Um, really, this thing has, these have to gym to like get some, any kind of good money out of. So the fact that that's a nine, is, I didn't even talk about it. Uh, Jamal Musalaya, good young forward for Bayern Munich. This is his second year card. Um, so this gem, I think I can probably get, I bet I can get 50 bucks for this. So that'll be nice. A lot of soccer right now. Uh, here's a cool one. So I bought this to flip it. So this is Bukai Saka. This is his first Prism card. Uh, they didn't say rookie on it, but it, it really kind of is essentially his rookie card. This is numbered to 159. Yes, 159. Um, I paid 40 bucks for it. I think 48, like out the door tax and everything. I bet I can get 150 bucks for this. So this will be, this will be a nice one. Um, uh, here's another cool one. So this is the first year tops finest. Um, and so this was a GMA 10 that I bought for like 80 bucks and I cracked it and it gemmed. I bet I can get 200 for it. So one sold a couple months ago for like, I think it was 160 or 170. Um, so I'm betting I can get 200. These are, there's not any right now on eBay. There are any PSA 10s. There's nines and eights and stuff. So I bet I can get something for it. Um, Wander Franco, this was, I, I ripped a box of Top's Finest and pulled this, um, Top's Finest or the quality of them this year is just, it's really bad. Um, but I thought this one looked good. Obviously it gemmed, it's his base. So, I mean, I, it's probably 30 bucks. Um, uh, I'm gonna actually hold on to it. Uh, I got some more Wanders in here and, um, some other Wanders that I had submitted before cause I was expecting big year. Um, and he's started off hot I think his slash line is like. 400, 500, 700 right now. So he's he's doing what I was hoping he was going to do. Uh, this is a Dak rookie. This was a GMA 10 also that I bought. So, um, you know, it was two for two on, wait, no, I had the, the LeBron. So two for three. Um, yeah, cool card is Optic rookie. There's a ton of them. So I don't know, 75 bucks. I'm going to probably hang on to it until the season starts and see if I get more money. Uh, similar, bought some of those uh, blasters from Target, the Steve Nash Silver 10. Uh, if I get $30 for this, I'll be happy. I'll get grading plus, you know, a few bucks. Um, yep, this came out of, I think I mentioned I ripped the box of this. So this was my auto. I thought it was going to gem, which would have been a little bit better. But Jao Cancelo, um, decent player. He's on Baron now. For some reason, he seems to be fairly popular, so... Uh, if I get 60 bucks for it, something like that, it's kind of what I'm hoping. I'll be happy. Um, another one from a box of Topps Chrome I open. So Neil Cruz rookie, uh, refractor, gem. I can probably do 80, 80 bucks for this. So again, recoup some of that gain from, from the box and the, the grading fee. So I'm fired up. I'm real fired up. Uh, here's another one. So this I bought, this was an SGC 9.5. Uh, it was a personal card. It's a DAC. It's a score rookie. It's like his third year, but um, it's numbered to 10. You'll be able to see it. It's like super. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Um, was hoping for a gem, but I don't know. Cool card. I'm keeping it. I, I didn't know I sent this in. I don't know if that'll happen. Uh, it's a Prism World Cup card. I got an eight. That's, no, that's embarrassing to do that. Um, here's another Wander. This was a green. So this one I actually bought. Um, before I was uh, aware of how bad Topps Finest the quality is. So I've not bought any more Topps Finest. So the fact that this gem, I don't think, I, I think I was expecting a nine. I didn't think this was going to gem. This is number to 99. Um, there's one up right now that's at 150 with a day left. So we'll see. I'm hopeful. I don't know. Look, it's just a cool card. I don't know what I say about that. It's Ric Flair. You know? Dude, it's very 80s. Like, look at the border. 
It's just a cool card. Um, this is this year's version, that kind of Dak mosaic, kind of, I don't know, rainbow, whatever you want to call it. So it nined, I want tens, so that one doesn't work. But as you can see, I got another one here that I bought that I'm hoping will be the 10. So I've already got the next one up. I don't know. I like Wander Franco. This is an eight. This is terrible. Uh, card's not super expensive. It's his update, but it's a Sapphire edition. Um, I thought it was going to get a nine because there was a mark somewhere around here. So now I'm thinking about it. Why would I even send it in if I thought nine was the best it could do? Oh, sometimes I have a couple drinks and I start just saying, oh, I'm going to submit some cards. You know, and then this happens. Uh, same from the box I opened. So this is a purple. So this is to 25 out of Sapphire. So that's, you know, this is a desirable set. This is his second year. Um, he had transferred to AC Milan last year. I don't know if he really did much. I haven't heard a ton about him. And it's a nine, so it's probably not worth a lot. I don't know if I'll get my grading fee. Might as well hold on to it. Uh, more of the Moises Sacedo. This is a blue. I think this is the 99. No, the 75. 75. Um, yeah, the nine hurts. Not great. This one. I couldn't believe this. So, Stadium Club, Beam Team, these are paper cards. Um, I thought this card was clean. I I don't know if I thought it was going to gem, but these are, these are, from what I understand, like a case hit. So, they're, you know, not, um, you know, somewhat of a short print. But, I don't know, I thought the card was cool. I mean, for an 8, obviously, I'm going to keep it because that's garbage. Uh, here's another one of Franco. So, I got killed on these top Stadium Clubs. Um this is his rookie, but it's a throwback rookie design variation. So they only made a hundred of these. Um, I got a nine on it. I was hoping for a ten. Um, I'm gonna take another crack at it. I got a CSG nine point five of the same card that I'm gonna crack and send in. So I'm hoping I can get to that ten. Um, this is the same. This is uh, the Stadium Club, but this is the SP. Uh, they only made 100, maybe 200, 100 or 200 of these. I can't recall. They're not numbered, but they declared the print run. Um, same, I, again, I I was hopeful for 10. So, I mean, I, I got no excuses. I wasn't expecting nines on these. This one I was. Um, I bought this one to flip. So, this is, again, Stadium Club. But this is a, a Chrome version of it, and it's the Pearl. And the Pearls are numbered to 30. So, they're pretty pretty low print run. Um, I thought this was going to nine. I did not. Well, I knew it wasn't going to gem. I thought it might actually do an eight. Uh, there was some surface stuff here, but I thought there's only 30 of them. So whatever, but nine. So I'm actually happy with that. Um, Jordan Alvarez, just a fan. I'm putting together kind of a similar to the DAC doing his Sapphire uh, version. So i nice to get, nice to get a 10 like that card. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is from the box I opened of Sapphire Top Score Baseball. So, um, Shane Baz, he's not going to pitch this year. He's got Tommy John, but when he did pitch, what, last year, the year before, in a short stint, um, looked pretty good. So right now this isn't worth anything, but I'm going to hold on to it. Another one, um, Moises Acedo. This is a blue, so this is numbered to 99. You know, oddly enough, I think I showed you the Genesis one that gemmed earlier. If I had to pick which one I wanted to gem... It would have been the Genesis, even though this one's numbered to 99. And I guarantee you that Genesis is a bigger print run in 99. They just attract more. So, you know, the fact that this one nine is not great, but whatever, I'll take it. Um, Again, more tops, more Wander. Big Wander fan. It's, I think last video I was pulling a bunch of Wander 10, so it's life is balancing out. This is a black and white, so it's not a like a super short print or anything, but cool card. I thought it looked really clean, so... The Stadium Club paper cards are killing me. Um, this one killed me too. Mm, Topps Chrome I was had been pretty successful. So that 350, so not a super short print. But um, yeah, a nine on magenta is not not great. So that's a return. Um, overall, I would say I wasn't that happy with it, but uh, there was. There wasn't a lot of high-end stuff in there, but it's definitely not any high-end stuff. I don't even need some medium-end stuff. Medium-end? That was all pretty low. Um, 
you know, I'll, I'll definitely get my grading feedback and I'm gonna flip those. But just like last time, look, I got another, another one. Look, I'm taking another crack at the Wander. I got some David Robinson here. Look, oh, more Wanders. That's Bowman's best. More Wanders. And then, anyways, yeah. So got some, some other stuff. I'm looking to. Look at that. that's a Thurman Thomas. Oh, the tops. Um. So yeah, I'm uh, excited. I'm gonna. Uh, do some more and um, hopefully in another couple months I'll have another video for you. I hope everyone has a great Easter. Uh, to all my fans, I thank you. And again, I wouldn't be the content creator or influencer that I am without you and without putting videos out on the holiday weekend. I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a happy Easter.